Okay, confession. I'm a TikTok addict. Like addicted, absolutely addicted. And I never thought I would be here and be one of those people. But right now I'm sitting here and all I can think of is that little baby song where it's like, you know what these bitches love me? Cause baby don't give a fuck. And it's like, why? Yeah, baby, won't you be my I will just like to acknowledge the spray tan on my hands. Not looking too hot. But you know what? We're here. We're just gonna do this. Hey guys, what's up? It's Savannah. Welcome back to my channel. And I am so excited for today's video. We're gonna be doing something that I never do. And that is dresses. I don't do dresses. I've never been a dress person. Excuse you. I've never been a dress person. I think the last time I wore a dress and it was like voluntary was prom. That was like five years ago, okay? So it's been a hot minute since I've voluntary worn a dress. And it wasn't even voluntary. Prom is like everyone wore a dress where I went to school for prom. So it's kind of like, anyways, we don't need to talk about my prom. So for today's video, we are going to be testing out dresses from Amazon. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. Amazon has no idea that I'm making this. I wish they did. That would be nice. So don't come at me with this is sponsored. No, it's not. With that being said, I have about seven dresses to show y'all today. So let's just jump right on into it. I have the pile right here. I decided to open them out of the plastic beforehand. That way I don't have to deal with all of it all over the place. Whatever, you don't care. First off, we are going to start off with this dress. It is just a regular black bodycon type dress. This is what the length looks like on this one what size did I get this in I think I got it in a large which now looking at it I don't know oh okay it's very soft inside it's like almost like a fleece material which is kind of interesting I'm curious as to how that's gonna work look at me like literally already trying it on it's ruched at the sides which is supposed to kind of like snap you up and suck you in when I got this dress I definitely got it with the idea in mind that like if none of the other ones work this is like a basic black little black dress and it should work but now I don't know I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it it just doesn't look that flattering just by looking at it but maybe once I put it on it'll start to look a little bit better so let's test it out right now okay I literally just got a spray tan for this video and my legs are so pale I but this is what it looks like I don't want to say like your basic little black dress but like kind of but yeah it's just basic long sleeve it does have that ruching which is nice I just can't tell if I should have sized down because look at this there just like is some extra fabric that's just kind of like hanging out and because it's in my stomach area it's not the most flattering and it also is kind of thick it's a thicker material because of that fleece warmness that's kind of on the inside of this so that's something to keep in mind as well so if you're going to like an outdoor event or if you live in an area where it's colder then something like this would be good it can go pretty far down too i just kind of like rided it up a little bit which could be an explanation for the fabric like this is how long it could go down if i wanted to so if you have like an office party like you like things to be a little bit longer then this might be good overall though it is very comfortable like i feel very comfortable in this but i don't think you would be doing well with this if you were around a lot of people because i think you would get hot like i would get very hot in this and like i hate to say it but I almost feel like you could just get a better long sleeve basic black dress So because of all the factors considered I would rate it a 7 Just because I do think you would get hot in this and the extra fabric But I can't mark it off too much just because it might be just because of my sizing Dress number 2 Dress number 2 Where's my phone? I got my co-star notification. Do you want to know what it is? It says, how would you spend your time if you didn't have to work? I'd go insane. That's, that's what would happen, co-star. Thank you. So this is what it looks like. It is basically this kind of like higher neck situation, but then the back, she's hot. Insert Paris Hilton, that's hot. I love this color. It's like such a true red color and not like a deeper, darker red. I'm going to pop up the picture of what it's supposed to look like on the model right here so you guys can get an idea. And I'm going to include the price right here somewhere as well i'm not a low back type of person i just never thought that they were very flattering on me so i'm interested to see how this works and how it looks i love the color on this i love red it is lined which is nice so it's not see-through or anything but it is kind of like a thinner material so i'm very excited to see how this works it's got some like ruching this is stretchy so that's nice and what size did i get in this i think i got a large in this as well i always size up when it comes to like dresses and things because I feel like worst comes to worst I can always hem it and make it shorter like if it's short I don't know what to do with it but if it's long then I can hem it and kind of customize it to do what I want to do I just don't know how this is gonna look on me so let's 
test it out. Y'all, Amazon might have snapped with this one. Like, I never really like dresses like this, but I think this one is so pretty. I love the color of this. That, I think, is probably my favorite part of this dress is the color. And I definitely have a little bit more going on up here. So it's dresses that have this type of neckline are very, very difficult for me sometimes because they just don't look flattering. But I feel like this actually looks pretty flattering. This is what the back looks like, that low back situation. And again, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not mad about it. This could be really fun for like a birthday dress or just a Valentine's Day dress. Like if you want a nice Valentine's Day dress, this is super, super flattering. I think it makes your neckline look very flattering. By the way, I'm not wearing a bra right now. There's that. So this is what it looks like with no bra. If you wanted to wear a bra, you could definitely wear like a sticky bra or something like that. I'm big on shapewear, so trying to find the right shapewear that would work for this would be big for me. I, I'd probably rate this one a 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. I don't have any complaints with it, honestly. It's very comfortable. She snapped. So yeah, definitely like a 9 or a 9.5 for this one. Hello, Valentine's Day. How are we doing? All right, now we are going to go with this guy. It's so soft. This is what it looks like. It's just this white dress it does kind of have that same fleece material as the black one did the long sleeve black one that we first tried on on the model it was kind of shown as a little bit of an off the shoulder dress and it really really reminded me obviously it's not the same color of that kim kardashian dress that she wore that like everyone was copying after she wore it, it was like that black kind of off the shoulder look the same little thing on the bottom here. I have no idea what this is for. I don't understand this whatsoever. I don't like the feeling of that, but that we'll figure that out when we get there. This is really, really pretty. Very stretchy. Like the stretch on this is really nice. Just like a spandex material. This is what the white one looks like on the model. I'm going to pop it up right here so you can just kind of like get a look for what it looks like. I'm also going to have all of these linked in the description box below if you want to check any of them out. And it has this little ruching thing going down the center. So I'm really excited to try this on and kind of see how it looks and see how it wears because I think like with a tan which I just got a tan like two days ago and like the right makeup like super bronzy makeup I think that this could be like such a look but then again I don't know if it's gonna look good or not so we shall see right now I think this might be the favorite this is what she looks like I think that this is so pretty you guys like I want to be a dress person just so I can like go out and wear this and be cute I had to put on a black sticky bra and I would never wear this out with a black one I would get a skin colored one I just don't have one on me right now so this is the only thing that I could show it to you guys with but this is what it looks like I think it's so freaking pretty it's so soft and so comfortable i'm definitely someone who's more comfortable wearing long sleeve dresses i'm just self-conscious about my arms i don't know i don't know i'm just super obsessed with this i don't know i really like it if you wanted to you could pull the sleeves up and wear it like this but i do kind of like it off the shoulder i think it adds a little bit more something to the dress i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> I was gonna try to be like cute and hold it in, but I realized my eyelashes might fall off. I am absolutely obsessed with this dress. I think it's so cute. I think it's super flattering. The back is just regular kind of like basic white and I really like that. And then the front has this situation going on right here. And then you have these string things that you just tie. I don't even notice them. I'm just like so focused on like this part of the dress and the color. I definitely am gonna try to find an excuse to wear this dress out. This one honestly gets a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I know that the black thing right here might be throwing y'all off a little bit. Huge, huge fan of this. Like the red one is like hot, hot, but this is like, I'm innocent, but like I'm still hot as fuck, you know? And the material, you guys, the material is so good. I can't stop looking at myself. Like I need to get over it. 10 out of 10. I don't want to take it off. We have more to try on though, so let's do it. Okay, so this one is definitely more of a basic everyday type of dress it just looks like this it's black and it actually came in a pack of three it came with a white one a gray one and this black one but the thing about this dress is that it's very see-through hi you can see me but i just wanted to try the black one on because i felt like the white and the gray would be way too see-through for this so we're gonna try the black on and i like the black the best out of the three because i think black is just the most flattering on me it's stretchier than i thought it would be i kind of thought that it was going to be like 100 percent cotton and not stretchy whatsoever i'm interested to see how it works it's not lined like I said so it is pretty thin but I think you can still make it work so I'm excited to see how this works it has adjustable straps as well which is nice and I'm gonna pop up what it looks like on the model right here with the price as well so I'm kind of excited for this I always like want to be the type of girl that can like just throw this on on a regular day and just wear it out but I'm just not I just wear leggings and sweatpants and like that's honestly a resolution of mine this year is I've heard a lot of people say so I'm glad we're like all in this together because I am such the type of person where like even 
even though I have a closet full of cute clothes, I will just go for the leggings and the sweatshirts all the time. I choose comfort over anything. Most of the time, the sweatshirts and stuff that I wear are so unflattering. Like, it just makes me look like a trash bag. And I'm not a trash bag. Amazon is being slept on for dresses. I'm just gonna say that. So this is what this one looks like. It's just basic and black and very more so casual. But I do feel like you could dress this up. I feel like if you paired it with like a leather jacket and boots, you could very much dress it up. Or you could just wear it with a pair of sneakers and huge hoops. And I think that would look so dope too. Look at me giving you fashion advice. I also want to say that the length is customizable. So you could pull it down longer if you wanted it and make it more of like a midi dress like that. And I am wearing shapewear by the way because I didn't want it to be very see-through and shapewear keeps everything in like it's the best thing ever. And I love how high it rises in the back. If you know, you know. I think it's super flattering and great for kind of an everyday type of dress. I like it because I just feel comfortable. Like I feel like I can walk around in this and it's not gonna move around a lot. I would honestly rate this a 9.5 out of 10. I have nothing bad to say about it other than the fact that I think that the other ones that I came with like the white and the gray are very see-through so you just kind of have to be a little bit cautious of that so she's cute so I originally was planning on making this video before New Year's Eve that's how late this video is and when I did that I was like oh this would be such a cute dress for New Year's Eve so 2021 this is what it looks like and it's just this really nice like sparkly gray material and it just kind of looks like that mini dress type of thing same sort of high neck design that the red one the second dress we tried on kind of had and then in the back it's laced like that which is super sick pretty stretchy has a good amount of stretch to it for size reference i'm pretty sure i got this in a large as well i'm pretty sure i got it in a large so let's do that right now so this is what this one looks like it's very fun i feel like i've outgrown this dress if that makes sense i feel like i'm not in a place anymore where i would wear something like this i don't mean this negatively i see this more as like a teenage dress i feel like i definitely see this more as like a teenage dress and i mean that in the best way possible i just feel like i personally personally would never wear this i think that's more so what it is like i just wouldn't wear this this is what the back looks like just for your reference my one thing is i don't know if you can tell but like right here it has this kind of like weird air pocket situation and i'm not too sure what that's about but there's really nothing wrong with it it's very comfortable glitter does not transfer anywhere but i'm more so rating this on just like how it looks in general i'd probably give it an eight but i definitely just don't think that this is a dress that i would wear yeah that's where we're at with this one final two let's get it all right so we are going to try this one on next okay, i'm gonna put the picture up of what it's supposed to look like on the model right here and the reason i got this dress is because there's a brand called house of cb and they make a dress very very similar to this it's just expensive period I, when i saw this dress i was like oh this could be like if it works it could be like a dupe for that dress but what i just realized is that it's completely <laughs> see-through hi how are you we could have a full-on conversation just through this it does have a nice amount of stretch like it's very very, very stretchy. I think it's probably the stretchiest dress that I got, but it's 100% see-through. So you would definitely have to figure out a way to wear a bra with this. I guess maybe like a skin colored bra. I don't have like a skin colored bra. I know it's crazy. I, that's what I need to get. Like I need to get a skin colored strapless bra. That's just what I need in my life, but I don't have that. I just have black. So we're just going to see what it looks like with black it does have a zipper in the back which is how you kind of put it on it has adjustable straps it's all good and fine but it's just 100 percent see-through you just have to figure out a way to make that work and i just i just don't know how you would make that work especially with the bottom like the bottom bottom see-through too so like how are you gonna do that i don't know we'll figure it out but this one is making me nervous okay let's talk let's just point out the obvious i paired a black bra with this like i said i don't really have a tan bra at the moment i need to invest in one i'm just lazy so i had to pair it with a black one but obviously i wouldn't recommend that for this this, I would either do red or your skin color. My problem with this dress is that this is so tight. This does not budge whatsoever. Like this is as far as it's going. And what's weird is that these straps are very stretchy. It's just this part that's like not budging whatsoever. But the pro in that is that it does make for a kind of nice neckline. This is what the rest of the dress looks like. I do like it a lot more than I thought I would, but at the same time, I just don't know where exactly I would wear this to. I feel like I would definitely gravitate towards the first red dress that we tried on, the second dress in total that we tried on, more than I would ever really gravitate for this one. It is very stretchy though, which is nice. I just like the color 
of that one better than I like this one. But that's just personal preference. If you like a little bit of a darker red, you might like this better. I would rate this an 8 out of 10 just because there are a lot of parts in this that you have to be mindful of when you're wearing it. It's not like you're just like, oh, I'm just going to grab a dress and put it on. Like you have to worry about what bra you're going to wear because it's going to be see-through. You have to worry about wearing shapewear. I'm wearing shapewear under this because your belly button would show if you weren't. And also this is very uncomfortable, this top part. You don't feel it until you go like this, but still, I just don't like feeling constricted like that. I need to breathe. But I don't think it's unflattering. I think it actually is quite flattering, but it's just there's a lot of things that go into it in order to like make it work. Let's move on to the last dress. This is what the last dress looks like. This is nothing like anything I would ever wear in public, which is why I wanted to try it on just to kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit and see what it looked like. This is where we're at. So this is what this looks like. And again, it's 100% mesh. This is what the front of it looks like. So it's kind of like outlined this situation for you going on here. And it's very, very sparkly. But I will say I have noticed, where are they? That some of the like gem things have come off. It does have a zipper in the back. That's how you do it. And completely sheer. So you would just wear like a bra with this and maybe like Spanx or something in order to like cover the bottom. I don't know. The design goes all the way down the arm on both sides. I feel like you could wear this to like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is very nightclub. Is nightclub, this is a statement. It kind of looks like a transformer to me though. Like, I don't know. This is what it looks like on the model, by the way, with the prices and everything. And yeah, so I'm not really too sure how this is gonna work. Okay, I feel, <laughs> okay. I feel like this dress might work for certain people. You know, certain people might like this look. I feel like a robot. I feel like a transformer. So this is what the dress looks like. Just to give you a quick little spin around, it is on the shorter side in length and it has all of these beads and such. The reason you would have to be very careful with this is because this dress can move a lot. And so if this dress starts moving, it's going to kind of throw off the whole thing because with the way it's supposed to look, it's kind of supposed to look like on your body. If I like raise my arms, all sorts of whack. So there's that. It is very light, like it doesn't feel heavy whatsoever and it's not uncomfortable, like the beads aren't uncomfortable at all. It just ain't it for me. That's just personal opinion. I do like the high neck, I think that that's a nice touch to this. Like the only place I would wear this is to a nightclub and I never go to nightclubs and if I were to go to a nightclub, I, I could see myself having way too many and then this just like going everywhere. I probably rate it a six, so I'm gonna change now and then we are going to talk about final thoughts. Okay, let's talk. So I am definitely overall very surprised by Amazon's dresses. I never in a million years, I didn't do this thinking like, oh, I'm gonna find very good dresses. I kind of just wanted to see what was out there and definitely had my expectations set very low, but Amazon definitely like shook me. I would rate it as the white one, red one, the low back red one is what I mean. The casual black tank dress. Then I would probably say the long sleeve black dress, the sparkly gray one, the mesh see-through red one and then the robot transformer dress that would probably be my order but, but i'm so interested to see what you guys like and didn't like that i tried on today and what you thought and what your favorite one was that i tried on and what your least favorite one was definitely let me know in the comments below like i said if we get this video to 5,000 thumbs up i will be doing a part two to this all right you guys that was the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new make sure your post notifications are on that way you never miss a video but with that being said you guys that is all for me today thank you so much for watching if you're new to my my channel. Hi, my name is Savannah. I make videos three days a week, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. You should subscribe and join the family. I love you guys so much and I'll be back in a couple days with a brand new video. Bye guys.